Hello, everybody. What's up, Mr. Gen X? Oh, not too much. What's going on, Gunny? I don't know. Um, I'm tired, and I think you are too, but kind of felt a little bit, of, a lot of bit of obligation to get back up here and see how everybody's doing. Um, I'll get to it in a little bit. Want everybody to pop in because, you know, you know me with new technology. It seems I'm good with technology, just not the new stuff. And I kept screwing up, putting this thing up and blah, blah, blah. But it was a little late. Yeah. 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 My brain's going this way. My, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place, man. I haven't played with the software enough either. So we no, we, we, we've been chatting a lot, throwing ideas back and forth. And then we get on here and it's like, um, going on here man but it's really quick yeah let's see who's here we got trey durant's here we got mr biggie we got jay tizzo and if jay tizzo's here you know who else is here right this is tizzo yeah, this is tizzo good to see you ken of mine hey hey uncle robert oh i forgot about uncle robert yes i got your fedex package um Yesterday, you want me to open it again? Because your other one's here. I still got to make a trip to his and get him his other one. It's up to Uncle Robert. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's all who's in here now, all 12 of you. I guess two of us, maybe 10 of them, because that's two of us, right, in that part of the countdown up there? Yeah. I think so, so we'll go minus two. Uh, 11 people. <laughs> but um, once um, we get everybody in here, because I know we're going to have um, I think Nick's going to try and jump up here at uh, 8.30. She was chilling, reading her book. And <clears throat> you know what's good about the tribe? I'm like, I can't get a hold of anybody. Can, can. I'll fill you in on him. He, he and I talk. Mary B., good to see you. Um, can, can's busy. I reach out to Gypsy. And I'm, then, of course, then I reach out to you. You know, you're low on the totem pole, dude. You know. You know. Um, there he is. I was, I was going to get to him, but uh, can, can's, um, he's nursing uh, to smash me oh. She got spayed yesterday, and she's a little loopy and kind of coming out of it and stuff like that. So he and I talked on the phone, like, minutes ago um, while I was eating. I'm like, oh, I got to go, dude. I got to eat, and I got to get this ready because I almost felt, like I said, felt obligated this week. I got to get on here and check in and see how everybody's doing. Um, but, yeah, it's just – it's a, it's, a, it's crazy. Not sure, but please pay attention. All right. Um yeah, but, you know, it's been crazy busy. Um, good to see Mary B in here. I haven't talked to her in a while. I could really use her giggle. Maybe if we brought her up here. What do you think, Gen X? You think she'll come up? No. I, I doubt it, but you could try. Is JB in here? Did I miss James Butler? Is he? I didn't see him. Well, if he is, I got to show something when I see him. I don't think I've shown... This was, like I said, just everything's so crazy. Nope. Mary, look what Mary said. Nope. Yeah, she must well, try to tag him. Well, would you record your giggle so, and send it to me so I could at least hear it? <laughs> ah. So, um, man, the big thing that started lately, good news, by the way, the wife has a potential buyer for her house. That is good for the two of us. Granted, that is a home I to consider BG. That's before Gary. I will give her my two cents, not, not to see her get a bad deal. <clears throat> um, so that's that's happening quite like soon. Um, but what's going to hurt in that is there's two occupants in that house, her son and the, the girlfriend. Where do you think they're going to live? You got the rest of the, you got that other bedroom cleaned up? Yeah, we're working on all that stuff, you know. Um, and then on top of that, when she sells her house, we got a spot. We're going to put a camper. We got to put in a septic for it, run some power out to it, and boom, they got a little place for, you know, a little while. That's the key. A little bit, we hope. Um, it would be good to have some help with Noah's Ark that my wife is putting together over here. You know about that because I've been chatting with you quite a bit. Yeah. Well, if... I guess, I don't know if I told everybody, it's been about a month. We have a rooster and five hens in a chicken coop outside that we put together and built. It's kind of with leftover stuff that we got and found and all that. Not bad. 
But on top of that, they got we have six chicks in the garage that we have to build a pen for. And guess what that means? I had wood delivered yesterday. I had a hundred boards, sixteen feet long. So we're gonna. I tell I, my nickname for her little place is we're gonna call it Barbie's Dream House. So we're gonna be building Barbie's Dream House. It's sixteen by sixteen. Gonna split it into fours for the chickens and the pigs. That's it. Storage and whatever. No, you you don't don't you do that. I know where you live, dude. What about the turkeys? Turkey. <laughs> Listen, man. Um, but with that, I know I want to show this. Where's where's it at? Okay, watch this really good. Where's that? Right here. Come on. All right, you right there, Nate. All right, here we go. Check these little things out. What? Why? Well, it's not playing now. What, what happened? I don't know. All right, we're gonna try again. She did. I'm gonna try again. All right, you ready? This is what we got at the house. <laughs> you, you guys can hear that, right? I can hear it. Okay. Can people tell them things to chew with their mouth closed? Oh, my God. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. It's freaking hilarious, okay? Um, but they are called Cooney Cooney pigs. They're New Zealand pigs. Um, hey, babe. Something's going on outside. I'll be right back, Dan. You take over, please. Uh Oh. Okay, this could be interesting. Let's see. Yes, Ken of mine, I believe his house is going to get crowded between the animals and extended family. Hey, Ken, Ken. Let's see. Living the dream. Gonna put two in so I could park on your farm. Yeah, I'm trying to convince him to buy a couple other things, but I don't know if he's going to bite. Turkeys are on their own. Jay Tizzo. Well, never know. Yeah, I said baby bacon, uh, Trey, and... I believe Gunny's response to me was, uh, yeah, bacon bits. Uh, living the dream. I'm not sure if he has. We'll have to wait for him to come back. But I'm not sure if he is uh, has a video of his chickens yet. Hi, Mary B. So, hmm. What? Getting texts. Um, happy spring. Uh, actually, King Can, it was nice here today, uh, mid 70s, sunny. Um, we got some heavy rain moving in overnight for a couple of days here and then supposed to warm up again so i think spring is finally here i know back in my old home state they're getting snow this evening i don't miss that at all uh, yeah i know it was up up there it was in the 70s and now it's in the 30s and snowing Forty-three cold, damp wind. Yeah, I know. I moved down here, and they have the coldest, wettest winter they've had in like ten years. So, still warmer and nicer than where I was from. Although they had a very mild winter up north. So, 
Um, can't complain too much. Yes. That might be an understatement. Mosquitoes. I don't know where you're at, but mosquitoes were a big thing and uh, black flies. I don't know if anybody's heard of black flies, but they are nasty little things that uh, not only will they bite you, but they take a little hunk of skin off when they do it. Hey, John Jacobs. Texas. Okay. You said who was taking skin? Black flies. Oh. We were talking about weather and mosquitoes. Okay. And up where I'm from, we have little things called, they're called black flies. They look like flies, but they bite you. And they take a hunk of meat out of you when they do it. Damn, that's like the um, horse flies do. Yeah, they're not as big as horse flies, but they're nasty. Yeah. But I will tell you this, you're going to think I'm funny. Oh, well, you already know that. Um, <laughs> but because of taking care of these little critters, You know what I had to do, right? Uh, I don't know. Did you have? Oh, looks like a camera. So I had to get one of those. Because the first night, of course, you know, the wife was um, going out there three or four times, make sure they're okay and stuff like, okay, we can't be having that stuff. Good to see you, Silver Wolverine. Um, so a silver worry you know it's just all right gotta go get her a ring camera so i went and got a ring camera hey listen for cameras that don't do uh 4k because they don't have any 4k cameras yet for ring listen those things are impressive i i am quite sold on the ring cameras did a lot of research on which ones to get because there's arlo and there's roku and there's this and that ring cameras are they're pretty stout man so i recommend that Uh, there was a request for uh, footage, live footage of your chickens. I don't have that. We're not. We're not there yet because it's those things are pretty close to the house. We can look right out the window and see them. So when Barbie's dream house is up, that camera is going to get moved. So we're going to be able to, you know, we're going to we're going to we're going to have a little a thing here. So are, are you running uh, water and septic and cable to the dream house? Well, there might be power out there and a fan, so in case um, Wait, yeah, I can see that I need uh, to get out and go hide. There's at least a refrigerator, and there'll be some soda in there, and some water, and a, a fan to keep me warm, and hopefully blow the smell of all that. <laughs> I was gonna say not so. Ken's dream house. Oh, not Ken's dream house. <laughs> so, um, so you know that's been going on, um. I know I, I was talking to you about this. I have become an expert on a new uh, little kind of thing. Anybody here other than you, uh, Gen X, because I know I've talked to you about this, has anybody here ever heard of a plastic welding kit? That's what they call them. Anybody ever heard of those? Just curious because I have a, a no, no cable. I'm not moving. <laughs> but um. Um, I have a 36 volt DeWalt impact wrench, the half inch ones, you know, which, you know, one of the most impressive tools. Okay. Ken of mine has one of the most impressive tools Big E has that I've ever used with, um, DeWalt. They, they suspended the 36 volt line. I don't know why, cause those things are just so powerful, but the impact gun, you know, where you hit the handle is it broke on both sides. So it was flopping in the wind, you know, you couldn't use it, right. Couldn't tape it because it's right where the button is. Right. So it took me a while. I'm like, how am I going to fix this thing? And I, you can't find the shell for it. I did finally find the shell. I ordered it as a backup in case I screwed the plastic up. But um, with some research and some due diligence and a little bit of patience, I got this uh, welding kit. 
you know, you got to set it pretty good. You get a piece of aluminum tape, which will hold it in place, and you put one or two of them, boom, then you get the other side, put some pressure on. Listen, the spikes are coming out. You cut them with some wire cutters, get you a Dremel, flattener, money. It 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 worked, you know. Um, so I am now a professional plastic welder. Okay, because look, hey man, saw it on YouTube, bro. I I, I gotta be a professional, right? It, That's right. That's I need right. to get that shirt. Of course, I'm a professional. I saw it on YouTube. I'm I'm gonna get one. So, Gen X, how is the South? We are getting snow tomorrow. Oh boy. Yeah. Not here, crazy. buddy. We're getting rain. And then it's going to be back. It was like 76, 77, something like that. Here today. It, was, it was nice. What, 30s, 40s, the last three mornings. And then, you know, the sun pops up. And you're like, oh, yeah, we're in Florida. I forgot. Like, I yep. needed a reminder. It gets humid and hot. Pretty yeah. Quickly. And it didn't it's help nice. when today I had to, we we're making room for the coops, whatever you want to call them, this Barbie's dream house. Um, I had to cut some trees down. Well, these trees are six, seven inches round, about 40, 50 feet tall. I had to cut three of those down and I had to chop them up, branch them off, get them ready for a big bonfire or whatever, and maybe a few chairs and stuff. And I can weld the four wheeler. You know what? There are some plastic parts on the four wheeler that need fixing. So, yes. You know, um, I just thought of something. Yes. With all this wood that you're buying and the wood that you're cutting down, yeah. you just need to store it. And then buy yourself a planer. No, we need a mill. And a mill. Or uh, you, you can make a mill with a couple of different tools. Right. And then, then you can make your own wood. Oh, trust me. There's no shortage of trees with 10 acres. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, We've already thought about it. But these ones, it's kind of a rush job. Got to get them out the way. Uh, friends of ours, you know, they're always looking for wood. And I'm like, you know, he's, he's, he's my mechanic. He's my buddy. So, you know, I hook him up because I got plenty of wood in our pole barn. So we're, we're not short by no means you know well, um don't be mean and give him the stuff he just cut down unless it was dead no no he can come over and take one he's he's good enough he can come over and take whatever he needs you know um, no he, these trees were far from dead because wood. <laughs> it's, it's very green uh very wet and when you cut a tree like this if you don't have a brand new chain it's gonna take you forever to cut it so Cutting these three trees and what we did, I got to sit on that porch. I got to sharpen those chains up tomorrow so I can finish up what I got to do. Thankfully, I have a tool that is similar to a Dremel with a diamond tip um, yes. bit. Sharpen those bad boys up in a matter of minutes. And listen, that's one of the best investments I got because I tried the file. It does okay. But this thing, it's like, burp, 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 burp. I mean, you know. I one, hated, one, I hated that as a kid. Uh, cutting wood down and, and my job was to sit there and with the file yeah you know and sharpen and some people think you go back and forth no you can only go one way with those files and you got to turn it and you got to yeah you got to mark it so you don't you know <laughs> get get dad mad because you took his bits down too much <laughs> yeah um but it was one of the greatest things i mean you gotta i mean my recommendation you gotta get these diamond tipped ones they last a little bit longer, but hey, who knows? They well, work for me. It, it, yeah, it'll work. It'll. I haven't done that in <laughs> twenty-five years, thirty years. Hey, buddy, come on over. Sit on the porch. Want to sharpen some blades with me? Uh, he's like this. I, no. Yes. <laughs> but um, also tomorrow, um, hopefully you and I are meeting up. Are you gonna do a recon mission for me tomorrow? Okay, yeah, cool. I have to. Uh, I, yes, the plan is to do some recon for cool, you. Cool, cool, cool. Because I'm going to get up, and I don't know how, well, you're going to probably be up early like me anyway. Get up, I'm going to sit on the porch, sharpen those chains up. I don't have any neighbors, so I can just fire the chainsaw up at 8 o'clock if I want to and just wait for you, and then hopefully I'll still have enough energy. I can get all that stuff in the truck if you, you give me the thumbs up. Yeah, I've the plan is to, i got to do a little grocery shopping in the morning go and do that and then when i come back from that then head over there okay um because sometimes they're not there when the place opens gotcha is that it, wait tomorrow's not philly cheesesteak day is it no that's on mondays i gotta get up. and you said it's only till like what three o'clock no it's from 3 30 till 6 30. i think my wife's just gonna have to go to mcdonald's for what Did I, 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 <laughs> 
No, she won't be working Monday, spring break. We might have to meet you guys out there. We'll see. Hey, we'll see. I'm trying to think if they're having the full food trucks or just the cheesesteak. Because every so often they bring in a bunch of food trucks. Well, a bunch. Four. Yeah, four gotcha. or five. Where's Trey at? Trey's in here. I ain't seen Trey in a long time. And I was just, I, well, a lot of the, a lot of the tribe. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Like we said, we've been going over it. Busy, busy. Trey, especially, man. I ain't seen you in a while. I hope everything's going good with you, brother. Big E, Ken of mine, Mary B. Got all our regulars in the bar. Who's buying? Can Can? I think it's his turn. What do you think, uh, Gen X? Sure. I'll take a... What am I drinking? I'm drinking strawberry Kool-Aid tonight. I'll take a strawberry Kool-Aid. That's all I need. Uh, I'm, che I'm cheap, too. I'm just drinking ice water. Amen. You know, I got to get you some of that strawberry Kool-Aid because you, you can't find it in the store nowhere. Sam's Club nothing. Ordered two bucks. They call them cases. Dude, I got like 180 packs of the strawberry <laughs> Kool-Aid now. So, and that's my favorite Kool-Aid. So, I've been drinking that. So, got my Kool-Aid. Diamond, Lou. Where you at? Sing it, Can Can, so we can hear you in your chatting. Um, Ida's here. I, Ida, do you got a check, text for pics? Okay. Um, Ida, did you get a total of the auction? So sorry I couldn't make it. Life gets in the way. This is this dude. There's Pespasmio. You looking at me? Yeah. Who's the guy holding? Um, that one. Oh, there's Pistachio. Got the little Coban tape on her arm. You know, she's coming out. Got the little cone of shame, but she's going to be all right. Yep. Oh, you're up to 31,150. That is awesome, Ida. Great job. I knew it was over 30, but I couldn't remember. I didn't That's good. I, you know what? I felt bad, and I wanted to tell everybody this now. I went into the Durbin's. Were they on today? Yes. Yes, sir. Right? Maybe it was yesterday. When's the first day? They're on Monday, right? Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Okay. So Monday, they were on. I came in, said a quick hello. Heard Joe and Diane say hi. I was on my phone. As the first one that sticks out, Can Can, and a couple other people said hi. I'm like, if I sit here and say hi, I'm going to be here forever. I just, I just like my 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 text was, hey guys, just wanted to check in. Hope you Durbinators are doing great. See you soon. It's nice to have thumbs up, something like that. And everybody started saying hi. So to those of you who I did not say hi back to, do not take offense. I was just like, I got to go. Just want to say hi, do something different, you know. Yeah. Am I still having fun? Because I got to preach my own stuff. It, yeah, because the lights at the end of the tunnel. We'll jump in there. If it bites you, then I'll know if it's something in there. <laughs> like the shotgun. We. Oh, I was gonna say, take. I got a brand new shotgun for you. Shh. Pew pew. Well, she's taking her pew pew that she got with her Biden bucks. <laughs> or Trump money. I don't know which one it was. Trump money, Biden bucks. I don't know. Whatever. But um. You know, just madness, busyness. Um, gonna be gonna be good though. Everything's gonna be, you know. <gasps> I think John Jacobs is trying to tell us something here. This is the second time I've seen that. Um, check out this video, guys. Another one of them short snorters. I'll have to definitely take that out. Ram knows here. Oh my goodness. Ray's doing good, obviously. He talked I talked to him on the phone not long ago. I got his recipe for the olives. If he doesn't want to give it to anybody else, the rest of y'all can suck it. I'm keeping it, and I'll sell it for a million dollars. So whatever. All right. Um, CLMK, good to see you. Um, no, he gave me the recipe for the olives we had at the fun show. Listen, buddy, it was like a bowl of soup. It was just, nah, my own, you know? My God. So if you want it, you might have to come over, and I'll tell you it's mine. I got it from Rain now, and I ain't, no. It's just, it's so good. You know um, guy who knows a guy. You, you know, know a guy. guy. I, well, you know, he is a, he, you know, uh, Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, you're uh, going to go down with us because we're going to go down to that Polish um, meat market that he got that sausage. From. Dude, listen. <laughs> knock your socks off, too. That wedding sausage that he brought. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's going to show me there. He's going to show us where he gets, I think, the progies as well. We're, we're going down there and 
no, I didn't make them yet, Ray. We're waiting till we have company because if I make them with me and my wife, we'll probably not eat them all. So, but then again, I might, then I'll stop liking olives and I don't want to do that. So I'm waiting for um, company to come over. But yeah, I, I got the email, everything. Oh uh, yeah. But um, yeah, so um, you, and, um, you and I have been putting submissions together, you to PCGS, me to NGC. I just, I got a phone call today because, okay, this is the only negative I have to say about my coin submission to NGC. When you fill out your submission, you have to write your credit card number on it, right? I pulled it out of my wallet, wrote it down. Well, they called me today, well, your credit card's declined. What's the number? They told me, I go, it's not the one I wrote on the paper. Well, it's the one we have on record. That's not the one I put on the paper. So they looked <laughs> on the paper and they're like, oh, I said, why do you have me write it on the paper if you you know you know what I mean? Yeah, that, that was my only complaint. Got you it all worked out. Yeah, yeah, we got it straight. I already got charged today, whatever. And my okay. bills. I'm what I'm saying is, do they they're grading at them? Obviously, yes, yes. And when did I send it? Monday? Um, Tuesday? Monday? Yeah, I think Monday. I think it was yeah. Monday. So yeah. it's my first um, currency uh, submission. It's going obviously NGC is PMG. Um, and you're sending, you got, did you get it in the mail finally? I got to go to the post office. That's it. Where's that button at? I got to get quick to the draw here. <laughs> um, so wait, I, I know the post office for you is like what, a two minute drive? It's like six. Six. You could, you do that in your golf cart, can't you? No, I can't. Oh, is it outside the boundaries? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but and I know you got what four or five things you're you submitted. I think uh, I you said of, I have a total of eight. Oh, so you got the the big membership, and you're going to use them all up, huh? Yeah, between some coins and currency, I used them all. Gotcha. No, I understand, Diamond Lou. Look, I've submitted with them before, never had a problem, but this was just kind of funny when they NGC. I think what they keep it on record, right? PCGS, yes. Or yeah, PCGS. Yep. So I'm like, why am I writing this down? Then they called me. It was just, but it's okay. I mean, at least they called, they checked. Oh, we got it. Good. Everything's good. I was gonna say that's actually not a bad. No, 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 no. But it, it was just it, the only thing that just weirds me out. Not saying I'm mad at. It. I'm like, why am I writing it down if I'm a member and you already have whatever? You know what? what? I was saying I don't understand. Like I don't have to do any of that stuff. I just no. it and they automatically deduct it <clears> from and, my payment. Their submission is a little different. It's not hard. You know, it's just one of those routine, you get into it and stuff like that. And hell, you and I were doing it on the, uh, <laughs> I know you were dealing with me and just like, oh my God, you know, because we were trying to find out where the plate numbers are in the currency because I never submit one before. The front and the back, you know, who are the names on them? I'm like, I can't read this chicken scratch. And you had to pull your book out. And you got mad at me because your book broke. And <laughs> we, we, we figured it out. We got oh, we did. It oh. was funny. You you about flipped a lid, dude. When your books, you were just like, ah, yeah. turn it into the Hulk, man. <laughs> it was good. The story behind the book, people, is I bought a book. I like books. I don't like digital. I like regular books. I had that thing a total of two minutes in my hand, and I split the binding. And now the pages are falling out. So I'm not happy about that to begin with. Second thing is, is now I've got to take the book, which I've been studying, and I've got to bring it to Mr. Gunny so that he can give it to Mrs. Gunny so that <laughs> she can punch some holes in it so I can put the book in a three-ring binder. Because Why don't we just laminate all the pages, pages, too, while we're at it, eh? No, nah, you don't need to do that. It's glossy. It's nice paper. <laughs> See, what cracks me up about you doing that, um, you are very careful with your book. I get a book like this, and it has that spine. I'm, I'm smashing the thing on the damn table, and it never breaks. And you just, you're just you just opening yours and being like that. <laughs> ah! You know, and the page comes out. So it's just funny because I don't, I mean, I prefer paperback over hardback. Because a hardback book, I, I will destroy those easily, right? Um, well, that, that's like the red book. I got the spiral bound one. That's yeah. I wish I wish 
they had those type of reference books and, and all of them were spiral bound. It makes a this lot is of true. Sense. They should for the amount of money you pay for it, but no kidding. Whatever. I mean, hell, that book is sold out and I can't get one. So I got, I think they're, I think they're updating it. So I would. Okay. So I got they, the sixth edition, which is good for knowledge. Um, yeah. Prices are way off because Gen X and I were comparing, but it's good for the, when you get the history of what bill and what you're looking for and, it's like the red book for um currency man it's written by what's his name again uh that's that's by whitman so that's that's no no this was from freeberg it's from freeberg i know but look at the top it says whitman publishing i want to talk about it i want to talk about it thanks for stopping by mary <laughs> but um it's not the genuine version that uh Next says, take care, Mary. Um, but it's a good start. It's got the same information. It's still got the yeah. same the, the yeah. catalog number and all that stuff. It's all the same. The only thing different is the pricing for the most part. Hey, Chip, Deputy Gypsy Wolves. I sent you the link, dude. So bring yourself on up, dude. Bruh. Um, yeah. Oh my god, my eyes are already crossing, dude. <laughs> um what happened to the I don't know. But I hope I caught everybody up with what I'm doing. It's busy, man. We get up at the butt crack of dawn. There's been a couple of times Gen X is like, hey man, you okay out there? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ooh. Well, that. Yeah, open the last night because it was cold. You can shut it. Brain No showed me this. He's got the four ounce 75th anniversary NASCAR bar. Okay. But, is it? No, I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. My wife needs a flashlight. I got nothing. Um, where was I? She really just discombobulated me. Did anybody else here to see our new bacon bits that we got at the house? Let me see if I can do this again. All right, here we go, people. You can't get them in the pan. You need to teach your pigs some damn manners is what I was telling everybody. Okay, I'll give her that because when you tell them to sit, they do sit down when you're feeding them. So I'll give them credit. Oh, really? they, they do. Look, man, see this dude down the road? Yeah, they take it soft right on your hands. But this guy down the road, he's got warthogs, fox, lemurs, Chinese deer, Brahma bulls, donkey. I mean, He's raising these. A lot of these he sells to Disney. He makes some buku dollars off these things, right? Anyway, um, he has this little critter running around his property, and it plays with you. You know what that is? No. That is a baby warthog. Hmm. All kinds of spicy, and will I mean. That thing was running around. It would nudge you. It was bumping it. I mean, it wants to play like it's a puppy dog. It was one of the weirdest things, man. It, it's it's just not something you see every day. Then you go over to the pen where this big giant female is, and he walks up to her and said, tells her to sit down. She sits down, and he feeds her. I'm like, okay, well, that's just cool. 300-pound <laughs> pig, you know, well, <laughs> or warthog. And the, how their snouts are so long, and she'll just sit you and let you pet her in the it the hair's like, I don't know, man. It's it's. It, I, everybody says horse hair. No, it's thicker than horse hair, man. It's just it's weird, but but it's cool, you know. Never, never. What is that? United States of America. Is that a Christopher Columbus coin there, Ray? Got this other coin too. He he picked up. Eighteen ninety 
the other the other piece is coming in the other picture but you know that's uh that's what's been going on with me i saw a billboard for your detect he's got a did you get a picture of it biggie you got to send me send me the picture oh my god if he got a picture of that oh oh i wanted to tell you while everybody's here give me one second I had to tell Gypsy this, and I think I told Gen X this. Did you guys know that um, 49er fans out there in California, they only do uh, 40-hour work weeks because they can't handle the overtime? <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, yeah. Board of Lady Managers, Colombian quarter dollar. Well, that's pretty cool, man. That is cool. I like that. 1893. Just curious. I'll, I'll text it. I won't say nothing, Ray. But how's now, now that you are, are you guys pretty settled in here down in the uh, Sunshine State? Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty settled. Because you, you had your, your daughter was back again. You, you texted me, right? Yeah, she was down for spring break, and uh, she won't be back now probably until the holidays over the winter. In the winter, she's taking a couple of classes this summer. What is now? What does she think of it down here compared to uh, Michigan? Well, she likes it. I I don't know if she'd like it in the summer, but. <laughs> She definitely likes it in the winter. I mean, now will she be here for the entire uh, summertime? No, she won't be here at all. Damn, she's taking, she's taking two classes this summer. Oh, so okay. I think I should. Be, you know what? She's going to be graduating early with a double major. That's what I'm talking about, dude. What a bachelor's and her associates? No, a double, two bachelors. What? Yep, two two majors and two minors. That's awesome, man. And you talk about in. in that now, in all fairness, that's the plan. <laughs> well, what happens in the next two and a half years? Now you said it was. I don't want to give too much away, but it's in my line of work, correct? Yes. Oh, that's she's going to do so good. Yeah, she should do okay. Heck yeah! You'd be calling her up. What's up? Want to pay me back for that car? <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about that. Just now I know. Her. Get her through school, get her degrees, get her a good job, and get off my payroll. <laughs> well, she's hustling. She's working <clears throat> three jobs right now, plus oh one. And she's how old? Uh, well, she's eighteen. Mm -hmm. Listen, if most kids had that type of work ethic and stuff like that, we have a lot less problem in this world. I tell you what. Yeah, between going to school full time, Dunny can't do tech. And she's also coaching at the uh, her previous high school. She was all conference in tennis for I got gotcha. you. And so she's actually an assistant coach with the tennis team now. Oh, high school. Wow. so she's doing that. Plus, she's got a, another side hustle that she does when she's got a minute. So huh. she's. Proud of her so far. She's doing good. Good. Yeah. Gypsy's trying to run his mouth saying, I don't know tech. That's okay. When he decides to come in here, we'll let him in and then we'll just kick him out. Hold on. Let me send him a link really quick. But what, oh, is there anything on your radar to give everybody to talk about? Like what's your, oh, there's a July fun show you and I are going to. Like one day only. We're not making a big event of it. Um. Yeah, July what is it 11th it's only three days the, the summer fun show is only three days and it's in a it's not in the same hall it's a lot smaller than the winter one but is it in the there. same complex it's it's still in the convention center but it's not in one of the big wings it's in oh, all okay. the rooms okay. so and we got more currency we're going to remember our list this time actually put it on our phones you think this time maybe yeah i already have it mm-hmm I gotta just remember. 
my list this time. Look, I'm I'm, I'm kind of a, well. I only have one thing on my list this summer, and that that's literally it. To be honest with you. So we'll 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 just stay tuned. Is all I gotta say. Stay tuned. Yep. What right, die? Don't come say hi. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. She was outside fighting is what I think all that noise was. Oh. Here you go. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. Look at her. It looks like she wants to eat your face off her mind, right? <laughs> it's like, you put me down. Yeah, she wants to lay in her spot. <laughs> And where's her spot? Right where I want to be. Come on. Yep. Over here. Come on. You know your spot. You know the drill. Lay down. There she goes. Look. And boom. There's her spot. Right there. Yep. I want to be in your way, Dad. Then she goes out, gets in trouble. Yeah, Trace. She's pretty fluff and cute. Um, pain in my butt, but she's my pain. I'll take her. Put your button down. I really don't want your button. So, let's see. You mentioned that you're looking for a flashlight. Don't you have uh, any type Dude, of lights set up yet? I got like 16 of them in this house. Just everybody doesn't put it back. No, you got to you gotta get some floodlights out there so you can flip a switch and light it up like a okay, Christmas tree. I do have the, I, okay, I don't have the floodlight um, ring cam. I just have the one that has the lights on it. Not as bright. So that might be on the list. Listen, the difference in price between the one I got with the lights and the floodlights, man, it's a lot. Because those things come with a bigger battery. No, uh, John, I plenty of I have I'm gonna get into that later. I'm gonna be making a video this week. Fingers crossed. Gotta get I got plenty of Texas Joe rounds to go. They will get sold. It's just I haven't had time, guys. And I'm feeling bad because, but don't worry, we are gonna take care of Mrs. Dana with those but um john just send me an email brother um and i will send you as many as you want okay um for you only 500 bucks a piece i'm, I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding um but just just send me an email john and we'll um we'll work it out brother i promise where's my email right oh there there you go um gen x is going to type it in because he's so cool no I'm sending you a note. I've got to gotcha, gotcha. I've got to step aside myself for just a second and I'll be right back. Yeah, you're, you're gonna do like my dad says, you gotta make water. <laughs> no, but I'll be right okay. Back. Um, but um all in all, you know, guys, I felt like a tornado was going off in our um you got your 1882 national brown back. Woo! Oh, that's what you sent me, Ray. Okay. There's Ray knows. Is this your first um currency submission, Ray? Let's put it on the cat cam. It'll make it a little bit better. That is Ray's. That's his first submission. I think he said, right? Yep, first submission. So he beat me. I'm sending mine to PMG as well. Not bad, Ray. Not bad for a. What year is that thing again? 1882. Do the math. 100 and what? God, that's awesome, man. 140 years. I don't know. I got nothing. And there's the back. Oh, that's so pretty. Good stuff, Ray. Good stuff. Hey. Hey, old deputy. I sent you the, the link. Wait, 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 what are you doing? There's Nick. Good to see you, Nick. Um, might have some disappointing news for Ray. You know, oh, I have got to get you the new picture I got of her too. So give me a minute. Um, yeah, Ray, you're not going to be able to use my uh, property as your shooting range anymore because uh, we got uh, these animals and we can't have them go crazy. So we'll figure it out, man. You know, because Ray, listen, Ray came up here with a zombie apocalypse locker. All right. <laughs> he was like his own armory. 
it was, it was awesome. Some of the guns he had, yeah, one of them popped out of my hand. It was, and well, I wasn't the only one though. Um, this little, I don't know what you call that thing. Oh my god, I know. Oh, hold on, let me find it, Nick. Hold on, I know my daughter in law posted one. Uh, There he is. I'm back. For good or bad, I'm back. Gotcha. Where's the last picture she took? Oh, there it is. There it was. Oh. There they are. There they are. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Girl. Oh, you have to scroll down so far to get pictures from these people. There's the most recent picture of her right there. <laughs> She's getting big, people. Yes, she is getting big. And of course, her being goofy for Pop. She had to be goofy for me. And then her, you know, when she sees herself laugh, she laughs even harder. So, <laughs> so she's, man. And I'm hoping to get up there in a few weeks. I got to bring a lot of stuff to him. <laughs> You know how it is when the kids move into their first house. You got to make sure, oh, pig roast. You know, you got to make sure um, they got everything. And I got more stuff to bring up to them. Thankfully, I have a pickup truck, you know. <clears throat> Get up there, spend a day or two, and then turn around and come home. Um, yes, and, and by the way, New Zealand, those, those Kuna Kuna pigs are supposed to be the best tasting pork you ever get. I will find out. Not butchering it myself because I'll mess it up. But we'll have that done. Hey, everybody goes, oh, that's so mean. Well, how do you think that meat gets under that cellophane in the stores, people? That's just what it is. So um, we are going to try at least one of them. Remember to send me an invitation. I, I like pork. Oh, bro. I listen. I have. I don't get enough pork because my wife is not. It's not that she doesn't like it. It's not her favorite. You know, me, I, buddy, I love these pork. Steaks, pork chops, pork shoulder. Oh, pork all pork. of it. I'm a look pork going pork. on the smoker, buddy. Yes, sir. Um, pork belly. Listen, I did my first pork belly not long ago. Listen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So it's just, it's insane. So you can't either um, time because it's not real, you know, cholesterol friendly, but it's, boy, is it tasty. No, God, no. Well, you, my wife won't eat it because, you know, it's got about that much fat on it, but I'm a buddy. When that's all crispy, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I will do it just once, you know, I, God, it's been, been over a year since I did it. And I, I think we're going to wait another year or so before I do it again, because woo, there's a you place feel it when you eat that thing. Let me tell you what. Yeah. There's a place in Tampa Bay. That's, there's a noodle shop, mm -hmm. uh, an authentic Asian noodle shop and they have pork belly cooked the way they do it. What do they call them? One of those, one of those faux restaurants or something like that. No, this is an egg. It's 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 a noodle shop. That's, okay, that's what it is. And then you can get side dishes of stuff. But they had pork belly, and they actually they they smoke the pork belly, you know, the way they smoke it, and then they deep fry it. Right. Yes, Jack. I might be coming up to North Carolina, but hold on. Does anybody know where Jack lives in North Carolina? I I just don't know. Um. Never. He never tells us. I I remember now. I think it's Marion. I think so. He doesn't tell anybody. It's just no. I, I, uh, I hope we didn't dox you. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. Nashville, Marion. I'm looking for the border. Hold on. Cause I know where my kids live. Hold on. Hold on. Uh... North Carolina to Marion, North Carolina. Oh, it's only an hour away. Okay. Might have to go see Jack Goldman while I'm up there. I do not know. We'll see. Um, yeah. I mean, he came all the way to Florida. Granted, he's from Orlando, but Marion, North Carolina is where he calls home. Yep. You having another? Dude, what? All right, Jack. Please keep me posted or have your daughter. She She's connected with me on Facebook. Let me know. Oh, yeah, yeah. All your search. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if I told everybody this. I had my annual 
VA appointment with all everything. Draw the blood. Do this, do that. I'm good. Yes, I'm a smoker. I had a chest x-ray, blood, and all that stuff. I'm clear. So we're good. So my, my neck of the woods are good. Now that's all I got to say about that because everybody else probably got way worse stuff than me. And Jack, I will be thinking about you, brother. Yeah. Um, Deputy thinks he's the technological guru and he can't even figure out how to open an email, click the link, and he'll be on here. Can't do it, can he? Um, I'm in a Deputy by name. Deputy, we're going to knock him down the recruit. What's going on, Johnny? What happened, man? Text me, buddy. You need to talk. Um, Yeah, but all in all, yes, I can feel that my back is not liking all the work I'm doing, but the good part about it is it ain't like you would be um, Gen X. I know if you did the work I did, you'd be laid up for a week. Probably. Um, I can get up tomorrow morning, and I'm good. So that's the good part. But getting up after I've been sitting down tonight, it hurts. <clears throat> you really want to talk about my colonoscopy, uh, Nick? No, I'm scheduled for one in November, actually. My my uh, doctor was quite adamant, adamant about that. Um, yep, it's, that is important. You want me to get a video of it? I mean, it's just, I, I got no, I ain't worried about it. I'll be doing the old, remember, remember Chevy Chase when he was in Fletch, when he was, Moon River. <laughs> I'll be doing that. <clears throat> That's all he's going to tell us, Nick, that I'm full of shit. So what, what, what's the matter? Well, you won't be when you go to have that done. No. Oh, my God. I, I, I think the recovery room's the part I'm looking forward to. No. I, the procedure itself is is not a big deal. What I hate is the preparation. Is that the way you got to drink all that crap? Yeah. Yep. Oh, well. Nick, he liked it so much. He asked for a double. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Robert's good. He's got jokes today. <laughs> That's good. Uh, well, you know, the cat's not moving, so I can't get comfortable here now. He said, Perry just said, just put your butt cheek on before you start. No, you won't be, Gunny. The drink is not yummy. Yeah, I understand. It's like, isn't it like drinking chalk or something everybody said? No, it's depending on what they do the, the now they just give you a pill but you still got to flush your system out yeah oh you know i'm thinking of the stuff you got to do for the upper and lower gi that's what i'm thinking of. well you got to do it for you for colonoscopy you've got to flush your system and they give you stuff to do that dude i do that every day when i eat dinner it don't take long oh no <laughs> you tell me wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute let me get this straight you've never had a colonoscopy yet no. Well, you sound like you've got your gold medal for this one. Well, let's just say you're in for a treat. Oh, it'll be a treat. My brother always tells me about it every time, and I'm like, ah. Oh. The procedure itself, I'll tell you, I'm not going to go into it in line, but we'll talk offline. I had a horror story with my first one. Uh -huh. The second one was fine, but the problem is, is the preparation because you got to start 24 hours before. And you literally have to flush your system and be completely clean. Well, I can't eat no dinner or nothing, eh? No, not only that, but then you're on a liquid diet and they give you this medicine that, boy, you're clean as a whistle when you go in there. So monsters and kool aid are, that's liquid diet, right? No, and you can, they suggest drinking, you can drink Gatorade, but it can't be uh, red. Oh, that don't bother me. I hate the red Gatorade anyway. What are you doing there, deputy dude? Say hello when he leaves. Hey. There he goes. All right. I'm going to turn it off. Turn off my Wi-Fi. Oh. We'll, we'll wait. <laughs> does he even know is, do you know you're on with us gypsy right now yeah you know we are live <laughs> clear bra huh? there's brett good to see you man 
Gen X, we got we, we got Mr. Brett here. Crazy man. Howdy, howdy. But Ray, all there of I all, am. are you hanging in there, buddy, with all your stuff? Don't everybody talk at once. You know, there's three of us here. It's 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 cool. I, keep waiting for I to still see don't see chat. Wait, we see you. You're sitting in your vehicle again, looking down at your phone. Oh, yeah. Or is he looking at his Apple turnover uh, and his monster? I mean, we don't know. I was going to say, he's probably on his way to go get something with sprinkles and a monster. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Nick, will you please come up here and help me? I'm going to have to send you a li link, too, because this guy, he's killing me. technology oh what a day nick was gonna come up what's that i thought nick was coming up at 8 30 it's nine o'clock well she may have gotten the bogus link that i got when i was playing around with this thing too so i just resent it oh well. yeah my link didn't do nothing there was no link it was blank i don't care i don't, I don't know this don't i see chat this is the new program gypsy it's called restream because we're not we're not using Streamyard anymore because this one's well it's better once we figure it out and then we figure it out and then we forget okay. because we're not doing, we're not doing it that often <laughs> <laughs> so how's Cole, well how's this Cole time i got chat i don't think the last couple times i did He's not listening. How is California treating you? Uh, not bad. Nice weather, like beautiful weather. But uh, a couple rainstorms here and there thrown in, peppered in. Well, you're pretty good. Hello, always like lot more cover. There. What's up? When I was in California, a rainstorm lasted like five minutes out there. Well, they've gotten a ton of rain. Uh, a little longer sometimes. Okay, six. <laughs> six and a half. Uh, says lost but, connection. Did I lose connection? No, no you're here. But I do know wow. this weekend, Gen X, we are going to get beat up, dude. What's going on this weekend? I saw the weather forecast. We are going to get tore up. Actually, it's, it, I watch. It's going to start raining tonight. It's going to rain hard overnight and through tomorrow. And then it's supposed to be decent Saturday and Sunday now. Man, I hope so, because that's when we were planning on building. And that's when I, and tomorrow I got to get rid of the, all that tree garbage on the ground. So I got a lot to do, man. I don't think you're doing it tomorrow unless you're going to do it in the rain. Won't be the first time. But, you know, we'll, like you say, we'll see. Yeah. Who knows? I might call you over and you'll come help me and you'll pick up the twigs while I pick up the logs. Yeah, sure. <laughs> You're like, uh-uh, not going to do it. Wouldn't you know, be prudent. Driver, that, see, now this, this is the reason you got to get a bobcat now. Ooh. Hey, did did you tell Colleen yet that you have to talk to America Silver Patriot and get some sheep now? Hold on a second. Can you kick him off, please? <laughs> no. Gen X is going, what you get out of You remember you were like <laughs> turkeys, goats. What else did you say, Gen X? You text him. You... Well, you you need you need a goat. What's the walking steak come? Oh, no, no, no. We, we need a do. goat, need the, a cow. That is a long ways away. We don't have the right fence for that. No. Be, because we got we got no. a 30-year-old fence at this they property, don't. and that's going to be something we're going to be redoing when we have, when Colleen sells her house. I mean, we can do it ourselves. It's just you got to get, well, each side is 660 feet, so do that times four. That's how many, that's how many feet of um fencing we need. So it, it's going to be a... Hell of a project. That's gonna be a big job. 
Well, I remember putting it in when I was a teenager, and um, I'm not looking forward to it as a 52 year old. Okay, so we'll see, man. We'll see. <laughs> Gypsy, come on up. Hey, I'll pay you five bucks to help out, man. I mean, that's righteous bucks, right? You can pay him in eggs. I got a fake silver eagle on yeah, him too. You. That dude, get, he cannot get it right. I don't know. Nope. I'll let you do it. Are, are you done playing games here, private? <laughs> gypsy, gypsy. Oh, my God. Can't oh, my. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Heartburn, heartburn. I like lamb chops. Oh. Oh my God. I got, you ever have that heartburn that hits you and you just want to like die? Yeah. That's fun. Good times. Welcome to getting old. No, this has been going. I've been having these heartburn issues since before I retired from the Marine Corps, but wow, that was a good one. I want to do You just got a clean bill of health from the doctor. Yeah, but I still have acid reflux. <laughs> that doesn't go away. Oh, no. I wanted to show another little thing I got in the mail. Quite excited about because, you know, I'm, I bought, what, pretty much all of yours. I got the 2024 proof set. There you go. I will tell you what. I am very, very impressed because I, you know, I don't care what anybody says. The pictures do no justice, okay, on most of the coins you get. They just, you, everybody knows that. Yeah. But look at that Native American one. Is that not really cool with the feathers and the American flag in the background? Let me see if I get a better shot with the scope. I think that one, that to me is like the prettiest one this year. That's I, I really, really like that one. I think they nailed that one. Jack ought to be proud of that. Um, I hope he is because I, I think that one's pretty, pretty damn stellar. Um, looks good. Brett can't see it. Hold on. How do I make it? Okay, we got to figure this out. No, oh, there you go. Just like that. All right. So there's American, and you all know the rest of them. Nothing's changed. Half dollar, penny, whatever. But that one, pretty badass. Okay. Yeah, that is that is pretty sharp. I like it. And bought a coin from the mint. Look, this is the first purchase of coins I've made since the fun show. So. Um. Huh? Just other, well, other than the you know the PDS quarters, that's all I got in my subscription. I, I only thing in my subscription now is Gen X talked me into it. I got to finish those quarters up for my granddaughter. Um, wait, 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 wait a minute! I talked you into it. I just laid out some facts. You made the decision. I like my version better. Um, <laughs> but um, no, I got to finish that out for the granddaughter. He's not wrong. And then I'm getting the reverse proof, and I think that's about it. I, I canceled just about everything. Um, the only thing I'm getting is the the army medal. That's it. Oh, and that and that. Whoop, I got some trash on there. All right. Um, this quarter is really really cool. With the I love the capital in the background. You know the the again the pictures don't do it no justice. This one not bad. Yeah. And you got. I haven't seen this one. I dig the Medal of Honor on here. That's that's pretty cool. And then we've yeah, seen these. We got we got these at the fun show. That one and that was earlier this year, I think, right? I don't know. But I think that this is of this design this year. I dig that one. I love the how the capital is in the background. That's 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 pretty cool. Neat stuff. So, you know, I think all in all though, the Native American one is is my favorite this year. Pretty, pretty cool. So now I've seen it once, now two times. It will 
go into my proof set box for the granddaughter and I'll never see him again. So I only look at these things like once in a great while. Yeah. I mean, I dig them because now I have every year since I've been alive and I'm working backwards. If I can, you know, if I can pick them up, like I did that one time, I picked up like a, it was either a, it was a Benji proof set. 57, 58, 59, something like that. I don't remember. I only picked it up for like 10, 12 bucks. Yeah, that's a, that was a steal. I'm like, I didn't care if I don't, if I already had it, I, I would have still paid that money for that thing, you know? He was just like like you were. He was just offloading his proof sets. He goes, ah, I just want to get rid of it. Uh, okay. I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> Gypsy say here. I already got the yeah, money. I have them all. Gypsy. They're all. No, I'm gonna get them all. Seventies. When does the, the army one comes out this summer? Doesn't it? It's supposed to. <laughs> Keyword. Nervous about the space force one that should come out this year too, and it's not. It's not on the schedule. Well, God knows what's gonna happen next year. Uh, we'll see. It's gonna be yeah. weird. We'll we'll see, peoples. Um, because I was also seeing the designs for the innovation quarters next year because Florida's on it, and I think Michigan's on it too. Is it not? I think so, but I'm not going to get one. I, I will tell you, well, I'm getting just the, the proof and reverse proof. I dig reverse proofs. I'll get whatever reverse proof they ever make, but thankfully they don't make a lot of them. But I am going to get a bag of the Florida ones just because it seems like most of the designs have gone with the space shuttle, but I'm going, no, oh, Florida's done more than that. And there's another one I don't quite remember, and that's the one I hope. And the Michigan one, they got one that has the tire on it, like the first tire from the um, Ford Motor Company's assembly line. You're like one of the ones from the Model T or the Model A. I don't remember which one. Model A was first, right? Uh, it was first, but Model T is what made him famous. Okay, but the tires, how they were, that's on the back of the coin. I'm like, well, that it just looks cool. It, it really did. Yeah, so, and some should, of the designs in the other states, they all think, kind of I think the design sucks. They should really? have a bridge or something like that. Oh, uh, I gotcha. Me, me from, and like me, I'm going, why are you putting the shuttle on there? We've already done that, been there, done that, do something else. And there's another one I just, I can't remember what it is. But, and what stinks is of the designs, my favorite one is the one of the tire, and that's just so basic. You, you know what I mean? It's like, they, yeah. they're. But they, they're, there's so many. I, I get it. I know that they want to tie it into the auto industry and all that sure. kind of stuff. But. Well, yeah. then you need to get out there and be a coin engraver, buddy. No. Just saying. No, <laughs> I don't have that talent. Well, listen, you won't need that talent because I saw something, and this is just a snippet of me being me. It was like, you have to get it. The future is here. The first coin made by AI. I don't want a coin made by AI. I want the coin made by a person. I'm like, oh, it's like I saw that. I'm like, you guys are serious, right? You, you, uh. Was the coin was the coin cool? Sure, but when you're advertising it, the first coin made by AI. No oh, thanks, I'm out. I don't want. No, no, no desire. Just saying. Yes, no more. I want W quarters, but are they going to do it? I don't know. I don't see how they wouldn't do it. How big of a hit that was. That was a huge hit. God, I mean, maybe they'll do it for the 2026. Coins. That's the, what do you call it? The Sessa Quest? I don't know. I can't even pronounce yeah. that. Yeah, that thing. 250 <laughs> years. Yeah. 50 years after 200th anniversary. Yes, the 250th anniversary. Yes. Yeah, after the bicentennial. Johnny Rainbow, I think you would be one of the better looking people that they've had as the director of the Mint. Got the beard. He's got the hair. He'll just walk in and clean house. Tell them, y'all are making shit. This is what you need to make, man. Just saying, everybody has a safety meeting and they will come up with some of the best designs ever. I'm telling you. What do you think? Yeah. It, uh, <laughs> it can't do any worse than what they've been coming up with. What they're doing now, yeah. No, Deputy Joe. Yeah, they're not they're not smart enough. All right. Well, listen, man. I'm I don't know if you noticed my eyeball is going, uh, see it? Okay. I'm tired, man. I, I'm trying to fight through this, and I did it a little, wait, we're at an hour and 10. And I know you're ready to try and go to sleep because you're in your insomnia I'm phase. Right? I'm starting to get my 18th wind. I'll probably be I'm good now. 
You're going to be the guy naked playing golf on the golf course when you finally wake up. <laughs> <clears throat> How'd you get here? I don't know. Uh, yeah, nobody wants to see that. I mean, hey, it's the villages, man. Just make sure you got the right shoes on. No, we're not <laughs> even close. <laughs> this is true. This is true. I gotta, I gotta stop saying that. But I don't even never remember the name of the town until I get there. Yeah, no, we're further north. Right by like that much. But you know, hey, there's a border, pal. <laughs> there, there is a border. No, and and I'm and it's much better that you're not because then people are then people are freaking crazy out there. I, it's just too big. I mean, they got over 150,000 people on there now. No, that's no. And you watch what that place looks like in about 20 years. It's going to be a freaking dump. I guarantee it. Yeah, I, Your yeah. neighborhood, not so much. No, we'll be fine. But they're, they just bought, what'd they buy? I can't remember how many thousands of acres. They yeah. got like another, I can't remember. Yeah, they keep going further, further south. Yep. They're over there out, out there by Wildwood now. Oh yeah, Wildwood, but they're they're going further south. I mean, it's ridiculous. There are going to be about fourteen more WalMarts there. You know, it's crazy. I don't go but, anywhere. I go down four miles to like BJ's Warehouse in Walmart. And, and you go as far south as I go. I don't go anywhere. Is that is that the same there. spot where the where the um, the fresh market is and all that. That's actually down in in that section. I don't. That's I don't about as far that. as I'd like to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't go <clears throat> further down there unless I absolutely have to, which is right. Yeah, I don't. I go to Ocala or I go up Bellevue. I, and sometimes I don't even like Ocala, but it's hey, I, I'm not going to the villages. But like Can Can is saying here, uh, Gen X, thanks for coming up. It was good to see everybody. Healing prayers to everybody. He's going to say goodnight. Um, Trey's link is right here, guys. Please copy and paste that. Um, it was good to get up here and do a little catching up with you guys. Um, life's busy. I'm glad, thankful for, you know, Gen X always checking up on me and getting all these text messages from people like, hey, man, you alive? I'm like, I'm alive, man. But there's a tornado went off on my property. But, you know, it's just, hey, life is getting busy. It'll slow down. Maybe. My wife doesn't create Noah's Ark. I'll be okay, but I think she's well on her way, you know? Two, just get, two words. Turkeys and goats. Just get ready, Gen X. You're going to be getting a lot of eggs here come this summer. I'm going to tell you what. Yeah, I'll take them. Yes, sir. All right, guys. It's Have actually, a great night. And as Gen X would say, what? Uh, if you're not having fun, you're doing something wrong.